This is what was added, removed, and changed from my luxury wish list for 2022. to my channel if you're new welcome back if you're a returning subscriber my name's Jonathan I make luxury videos unboxings and reviews and today is going to be an updated luxury wish list for 2022 so let's get into it before I get started with today's video you guys know what to do don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button it really does help my channel grow I make videos every Friday on luxury content, men's style, luxury unboxings, you name it, it's here on this channel. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to hear my updated luxury wish list, then keep on watching. So I did a luxury wish list for 2022 about seven months ago, and it is nearing the end of the year. So I just wanted to share my updated progress on that wish list. I have changed my wish list slightly for 2022. I had a couple items on my wish list that I kind of wanted to put into the near future and think of other items that I kind of want to obtain now. So without further ado, let's get started. So going back to my previous wish list, I did have five items. I wanted two Cartier rings. I wanted the mini soft trunk. I wanted more luxury ready to wears, and I wanted to have a little bit of a low buy year. So kind of giving you an update on that, if you haven't been keeping up with my channel, I have purchased two Cartier rings. I did do an unboxing of that. I did get my love ring as well as my Justin Clue. Absolutely love these rings. I ended up purchasing these because I had a really great year last year. So I decided why not get these rings to kind of celebrate my great accomplishments. So I ended up picking up the two rings that I did want. Slight little change in my plans. I ended up getting the pink gold in the Justin Clue rather than the yellow gold. Um, I am looking to add more of these rings to my wish list, and I'm possibly thinking about purchasing more towards the end of the year, maybe for Christmas. Who knows? Um, but yeah, absolutely love these Cartier rings. Happy that I was able to check these off my wish list for the year 2022. Second update, I did start purchasing a lot of ready to wears. If you've been keeping up with my channel, you're going to see that. I've done several unboxings. <laughs> I've been buying a lot of ready to wears this year and I've kind of quite enjoyed it. It's given me a little bit of a change of environment rather than always purchasing SLGs or handbags. And I'm happy that I'm updating my wardrobe I have been going out a lot more and having more clothing in my wardrobe to kind of update my style is something that I've been really loving. I love going to the mall, trying on different clothes, seeing what kind of outfits work, what kind of outfits don't work, and buying these ready to wears have allowed me to do so. So that was crossed off my luxury wish list. Update number three, I am unfortunately not going to be purchasing the mini soft trunk this year. I have my eyes on a different bag and it kind of goes with my first wish list item if I didn't mention it already, which was the keep ball bandolier in the size 45. I am also going to be unfortunately putting that bag on hold. It seems like I'm never going to purchase that bag, but when the timing is right, I promise you I will be purchasing that bag. But the bag that I'm going to get in replace of both of those bags is hopefully going to be the Keepball 25. When I saw this bag debut, I actually got a chance to try it out in store and I'm actually leaning towards the leather version of it. I'm kind of torn between the leather version or the reverse monogram eclipse version just because I love the reverse monogram eclipse, but then I also love the leather version. Only thing that's kind of pushing me away from the monogram eclipse version is the fact that it looks so, so, so similar to my Keep All XS. It literally is the same colorway pattern. I am not sure. I feel like if I get that version, then I kind of have two of the same bags, but in different sizes. Regardless, it kind of feels that way just because it really is the same bag, but a different size, 
But one thing that I really do love about the Keep Ball 20 vibe is the fact that it is bigger. And if I so choose to do so, I can fit a lot more items in there. Granted, I don't like to carry the kitchen sink with me, so I am really mindful about what I do carry in my bags, but I want to kind of have the option to do so. So that is my next update for my luxury wish list. I am taking out the Kipo Bandolier 45 and the Mini Soft Trunk and replacing it with the Kipo 25, hopefully. Next update is going to be a low buy. So I kind of failed a little bit towards the beginning of the year, especially towards my birthday month. I definitely did not have a low buy month that month. I was buying pretty excessively. And so I've kind of been taking a step back for the months of August, September, and now we're getting into October. I am taking another step back. I am planning on doing a really low buy period. So obviously I don't think I can do the full year because we're already almost done the year and I've purchased quite a bit. But for me, I'm gonna take it one step at a time and do a low quarter maybe. So for the next couple months, I will hopefully not purchase as much if anything i've been really just enjoying the collection that i have with all the ready to wears that i purchased with my cartier rings with all of the slgs that i bought i've just been really enjoying those pieces i really haven't had the need to kind of go out and buy anything and i think that's a really great stepping point for me because i have a lot of luxury already and i really do want to enjoy the pieces that i have because some of my items are still brand new and i haven't used them so I am kind of keeping that on my wish list still. I am wishing for a low buy period. So that is kind of like an update as to what I have projected coming up. Last but certainly not least, I am going to be adding one item to my wish list for 2022. But this is going to possibly be a Christmas gift to myself. And what I really, really, really want for Christmas this year is going to be a Justin Clue bracelet from Cartier. I love the Justin Clue bracelet. I love the Justin Clue line altogether. It's probably my favorite collection over the Love collection. It's just so unique, so out there, so je ne sais quoi. <laughs> um, I absolutely love that collection and I absolutely would love to have the Justin Clue Cartier bracelet as part of my jewelry collection. I think it'll look so great on my wrist and I absolutely just fell in love with it. I saw it when I was going in store to purchase my Cartier Love Rings and having the Justin Clue ring on my finger daily, it kind of makes me really have that urge to kind of buy the bracelet. So hopefully with my low buy months that I've been having, I am going to be accumulating enough money to go ahead and purchase it because it is quite expensive. Not gonna lie, it's about 4,500 Canadian dollars if I'm not mistaken here in Canada. I am debating between do I want the thin version or do I want the thick version. Knowing me, I'm probably gonna go with the thin version just because I don't necessarily know how the thick version is going to look on me. Just because I like the thin rings as well. Which is another reason why I purchased the thin versions of the two rings that I had. Again, not sure which one I'm going to get. I will be checking out the Cartier Boutique closer to... Christmas or the holiday season in hopes that I'll be able to purchase the bracelets. But yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, I can't wait. I am super excited to possibly add that bracelet into my collection. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed today's video. It was really just a super quick video of me updating you guys and adding more things to my luxury wish list for 2022. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.